Welcome to my world. Market 32 price dropper coming in for the item that we need for our grocery haul that's on sale for the holiday weekend. This department, we're picking up blueberries that are on sale. My husband's over at the blueberry display. Shop right, and we're getting the rest of our groceries for part two of the grocery haul. This is the front of the store where the florist is. Then it spans out. They have some sale prices over here and some sale prices up in the front as you come in and then the produce and it works your way back to the meat checking out and this time we're not using self checkout we're using one with an actual person checking us out from shoprite and also price dropper from earlier today we picked up a watermelon a head of lettuce eight ears of corn a pineapple the only item at Price Chopper were blueberries, a couple bags of chips that were on sale. London Broilers were on sale for $1.99 a pound. These were on sale for $0.99 cents a piece, the buns and hot dog buns. Also on sale, the Clown Dykes, the Sour Cream by Daisy, and the Milky Way. And we had one other item, Oreo cookie dippers which we picked up for my kid for snacks and school lunches. They've already dipped into those. I will flip my phone over in a moment and tell you how much everything cost and how much we saved. I'm gonna open up this London Broils here. And we're gonna put them into Ziploc bags. They're big, I'm gonna leave one out for dinner tomorrow night. As we decided on the linen broil, and we're going to freeze one for another time. Nothing is ever set in stone with meal planning. And you're getting a lot of food for the savings with these steaks. You're just going to take them out and put them into the bag. Separate bags. That way, you're going to have the separate meals, depending on your family size. This is perfect for my family, a family of four. And my youngest doesn't eat meat. That is what the linen broil looks like. My menu board. Monday's the holiday. Today is copycat takeout, and we're going to do veggie fried rice. Saturday, depending on the weather, we're either going to have the steaks grilled or air fried. Sunday, it's up in the air yet. Monday is a big grill day with the hamburgers and the hot dogs with the picnic food. Tuesday, we're having air fryer ribs. Air fryer stuffed shells Wednesday. Thursday is a heat and eat or mom's choice or do it yourself night. Friday's copycat night when we're going to do tacos. Then Saturday, we're going to have a chuck roast. And then that Sunday, chicken strips. And if there's uh, enough leftover chicken, on Mondays we do round two meals. We can do a casserole or soup. Or we can have another heat and eat night make the casserole in advance, freeze it, and have it on the other night that we are busy. And then dinner could just be taken out and heated. This is how we mail plan. I'm going to tell you the grand total for the shop right. We paid $36.47 and then we saved $36.96. So we saved more than we spent. That's phenomenal. Really great buys today with the digital coupons. With the watermelon, that was $1.99. The pineapple was $0.99. Cents. Corn was 8 for $2. And then the London Broil, those two in that package, they were $1.99 a pound, equaling out to about eight sixty two dollars for the package. Phenomenal deals. And then the Wise Chips were on sale. We saved $1.70 on the Wise Chips. The hot dog rolls and hamburger rolls were 99 cents each. 
the light that splits the door, 49 ahead. The clown dykes were 389, and then we had a dollar 89 off. Now the Mars were 389, and with a dollar 25 off. The sour cream was 249. And the second bag of chips was also a dollar ninety nine. Then at market thirty two, which is not far from the house, we paid two dollars for the big size blueberries. The, between the two stores, we did very well. We spent ninety seven dollars with the BJ Walmart haul. Then we spent thirty eight dollars today between market thirty two price chopper, then shop right. Say big if you plan ahead. I know it's in your freezer. <laughs> Always keep a fully stocked freezer. All our produce is down towards the bottom. Frozen produce. We have extra beets in here. Lots of chicken. Lots of pork. Freezer is all my produce that's opened that we keep in Ziploc bags so they stay contained and not all over the place and spill out when you open up the door. Then all our beef is in here, as well as hot dogs and hamburgers. The London broil, one of them I put in here. We also keep our quick breakfasts and an extra loaf of bread, the bratwurst, and our Italian sausages for spaghetti night. And the ground beef is down here on the bottom with the storeline steaks. I keep them in individual Ziploc bags, about a pound per bag, and I flatten them out. This is what the freezer looks like. Seats that are new inside my pouch from the Dollar Tree. I just recently went through them. Walmart runs our pair with BJ's, and we got our local stores down here, the Market 32 and Shoprite. And discarded anything that was more than 30 days old.